Good morning. Guess what I am drinking? It's about three ounce jar, and it is loaded with ginger, turmeric, um, apples, beet, and carrots. And these are called ginger shots. And so the base of your shot is loaded with ginger and turmeric because those two qualify as anti-inflammatory foods. It'll also go in and take care of the inflammation that you're fighting with. So I was inspired a few weeks ago to start doing this and I'm noticing a really healthy difference. So I thought I would share that with y'all this morning. Um, I just shoot it every day. I I, I don't want to get into too many personal things, but it just is so good. And if I don't take it, I notice that I feel like I used to before I started taking it. Um, why did I share that? Because mm. it's a lot like the Word of God. You can tell when you're praying and you're reading His Word that you just feel better than when you don't. That's why. Mm. Sometimes my ingredients are off a little bit and they can be grainy, but it's still doable. So, today's verse of the day is in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Now, this is Paul writing, and he's been carrying a burden for the churches. But right now, at this point, a burden so heavy that he really was having a hard time enduring it. And it was mostly because there were so many false teachers that had sought to destroy his influence among the uh, the believers and they were urging their own doctrines in place of the gospel truth which is really not that much different from today so so here's the deal when I share these Bible studies it's with the intent that we learn the gospel truth it's not my belief it might be my perspective but the gospel was written for everyone and anyone who chooses to read it and actually spend some time in it it can speak for itself to them so without further ado here's the scripture of the day all praise to God, the Father, our Lord, and Jesus Christ. God is our Father. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When we are troubled, we will be able to give to them the same comfort that God has given to us. That's what he says. And I believe it. So here's my ask. Today we need to be looking for someone who needs to be encouraged. The same way that we need to be encouraged. Sometimes it's just in the form of a smile or holding the door open or letting someone go first sometimes it's deeper than that sometimes it's forgiving someone who's wronged you or maybe cut you off in traffic or doesn't show the kind of respect that you would show them do you know why it's important to do that I believe because he does it for us. 
That's why he asked us to, as we say, pay it forward. We just need to ask him to put it on the forefronts of our minds today so that we can see the opportunity when they're there. Those opportunities are usually missed when we're not looking for it. Anyway, like I said, that's it. And there's not a lot to discuss here except that we need to be willing to take and give that same comfort to others the way that God gives it to us. You have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.